Hi, my name is Bishop Cortez Vaughn, and I have the pleasure of serving as the senior pastor here at Cathedral of Praise International Ministries. I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in from wherever you may be viewing us from. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. We believe that God has a word just for you. So let's jump into today's message. Let's get into a little thought this morning. I'm reading to you just two verses of scripture this morning from the Gospel of St. Mark chapter 6. Verses 47 and 48, the A portion of that verse, reading out of the King James Version, it says, And when even was come, the ship was in the midst of the sea, and he alone on the land. And he saw them toiling in ruin for the wind was contrary. On this final Sunday of June 2024, on a theme half time, I want to use as a subject this morning reflect and run. Yeah. Reflect. And run. The word of the Lord is already blessed. The disciples were sent by Jesus into a ship to go on to Bethsaida while he finished some chores, so to speak. And in the midst of their journey, or what we would want to say, at half time, they were confronted with a contrary wind. It's important this morning to understand from the very inception, even in the process of doing God's will, there will always be some kind of storm that will arise. There will always be some kind of storm we will have to face. But we have got to understand as believers, when storm arises, we have got to endure hardness as good soldiers of the cross. We have got to understand that in life there will be many afflictions. In life there will be many temptations. In life there will be many obstacles. In life there will be many tough places. But in the midst of all of that that we will encounter, we have to stand firm and stand fast. The scripture tells us in the text that I read, that the disciples were sent into a ship to go unto Bethsaida. And in the process of traveling from point A to point B, they encountered a storm. Can I encourage you this morning? It does not matter what you are facing. It does not matter what you are enduring. It does not matter what you experience. Jesus sees and Jesus knows. The Bible tells us that they were in a storm in the midst of the sea. And Jesus saw them toiling and rowing because of the contrary wind. Whatever we face as believers this morning, whether it's here or virtually, God will never leave us alone. He will never make us ashamed. He will never disappoint us as believers. Hallelujah. He gives us the victory again and again and again and again and again 
As we look at halftime, two things, one reflect, two run. As we reflect, this reflection at halftime is not about the errors that we have made. It is not about the mistakes or the shortcomings. It is not what we should have done or did not do. But rather, this reflection at halftime should be based on how good God is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I declare this morning that God is a good God. Hallelujah. He woke me up this morning. He clothed me in my right mind. He kept me from accidents, harms, and dangers, seen and unseen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He watched my going out and my coming in. He's a wonder to me. He's a miracle to me. He's my refuge. He's my strength. He's my deliverer. He's my shelter in the time of storm. As I look at halftime this morning, I got to understand it is not about the mistakes. It is not about the errors. But oh God, he's a good God. Oh God, he's a good God. Oh God, he's a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have got to reflect on his goodness. I know God has been good to me. You know God has been good to you. We all know God's been good to us. And the wonderful thing about our Savior is the fact that he knows and sees everything. The disciples had a very short memory. Like some of us, of course. We have very short memory. A couple of hours before they took their journey, Jesus was in a great revival. They had no food to feed the people. But one little boy had an appetite like me. He had five loaves and two fishes. And Jesus took those five loaves and two fishes and he fed 5,000 men. So much so that 12 baskets full remain. Not only did they see the miraculous power of Jesus, but when he sent them away in verse 46, he says, he went into a mountain to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so glad this morning. I'm so consoled this morning. I'm so happy this morning that I have a God who prays for me. I have a God who's my intercessor. I have a God who's my high priest. I have a God who's touched with the feelings of my infirmities. When I hurt, he understands because he was tempted in all manner just as I was, yet without sin. And Jesus prayed for you and I. One of my favorite passages is John chapter 17. In that great intercessory prayer, when he says, Father, I pray not for these alone, but I pray also for everyone who you will give unto me. And I'm so glad this morning, 2,000 years ago, Jesus prayed for a little nobody.
body into the dead and he lift me up. He turned me around. He planted my feet on solid ground. Hallelujah. 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 That's what Jesus did. As we reflect, at halftime, let us reflect on his goodness. Forget the negativity. Forget the naysayers. Forget those who are opposing our faith and our confidence in God. But reflect on how Good God is. I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. So first of all, we reflect on how good God is. But secondly, we run. As we run, we are building strength. We are mounting up with wings as eagles. The scripture says, we shall run and not be weary. We shall walk and not faint. The eternal God is our refuge. And underneath are his everlasting arms. He will give his angels charge over us. He will uphold us with his right hand. When we go through the rivers, it shall not overflow us. And when we go through the waters, it shall come nigh unto us. And when we go through the fire, we will not be burned. Why? God is with me. Hallelujah. And I'm here to tell us this morning, if God is on my side, I am on the winning side. If God is on my side, I'm on the victorious side. If God is on my side, no good thing will he withhold as I walk uprightly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we got to run. We got to run because we are on the winning side. We got to run because we are more than conquerors. We got to run because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. We got to run because no weapon that is formed against us will prosper. We got to run. We got to run because the battle is already won. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. So we run. The eternal God is our refuge and underneath are the everlasting arm. He holds us up. We run. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He who keeps you neither slumbers nor sleep. We run. God has not brought you this far to leave you alone. If God is for you, who can be against you? If God is on your side, no matter what you face, no matter what you encounter, no matter what you experience, the same God overall watches us overall. He is Jehovah Jireh. The same God over all is rich unto all that call upon him. He owns the cattle upon a thousand hills. The earth is his and the fullness here of Jehovah Jireh. We run because he provides. Jehovah Rapha, he heals. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. So we run. Because healing is your children's bread. The prayer of faith 
will save the sick. We run. Jehovah Nisi, he's our banner. He gives us a peace that passes all understanding. My peace I give unto you. My peace I leave with you, not as the world giveth. Give I. Let not your heart be troubled. In verse 51, Jesus stepped into the ship. And the wind ceased. Jesus stepped into the ship. And the wind ceased. You know what was the question? Not in this text, but in another text. It says, what manner of man is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Hallelujah. But I tell you something. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him is life. And that life is the light of man. One more minute. Jesus Christ, he's the same yesterday, he's the same today, and believe you me, he's the same tomorrow. Run with patience the race that is set before you, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. We reflect on his mercies, we run with his mercies. We reflect on his goodness, we run with his goodness. We reflect on his love, we run with his love. We reflect on his kindness, we run with his kindness. We reflect on his favor, we run. With his favor. We reflect on who he is. And run. With what he's capable. Of doing. At this half time. Reflect. And run. Thank you for having me this morning. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching this message, and we pray that it encouraged you. Our vision is to help people know God, find freedom, discover purpose, and make a difference so that they can live a better life. And if you would like to partner with us in giving, please visit our website at copim.org under the Give tab. Also, be sure to like and subscribe and check out all of our other sermons as well. Our services begin every Sunday at 8.30 and 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now do me a favor, go out and live a better life.